work out, sucking wind is taking you outside into the stairs, getting you out of the gym. And more than likely, you have stairs that are pretty close to you that you can utilize for a really great workout. We're doing five different exercises today. Each exercise, we're gonna do it 10 times. And the exercises in today's workout are stair burpees, skip jumps, stair grapevine, single leg hops, and bounding sprints. All right, let's get into the workout. The first exercise is stair burpees. You're gonna stand at the bottom of the stairs and go immediately down and do a push-up. After the push-up, you're gonna jump your feet all the way up to the stairs right below your hands. You're gonna repeat this until you get to the top of the stairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, that is one set. You're gonna run down to the bottom and repeat 10 times. The next exercise we're doing is skip jumps. And it's called skip jumps because you are jumping and skipping a step every time. You're gonna do this all the way until you reach the top. That is one set. And then you're gonna jog it back down and reset. Next exercise is one of my favorites. It's the grapevine, but we're gonna mix it up and make it a little bit more difficult and do it up the stairs. The grapevine is a little bit more technical than the other exercises we're doing in this workout, so you might wanna take it a little bit slow, even practice a little bit on flat ground until you take the stairs. I'm simply just crossing my foot, one over the front and then the back until you get all the way to the top, and that is one set. You're gonna jog it down, reset, and repeat until you get to 10. So with the grapevine, we're gonna alternate which side we're going up the steps. So make sure you do five on the right side and you're gonna turn around and do five on the left side. For our fourth exercise today, we will be doing single leg hops all the way up. Make sure you're getting five sets of each side, five sets for your left and five sets to your right. And you will really feel this in your calf muscles. So I would recommend that you stretch that out just a little bit before. As far as speed for the single leg hops, I would recommend just going at your own pace because your calf is gonna get really tired, but you wanna get up the steps as quickly and efficiently as you can. Last but not least, the bounding sprints is a really fun one to do. Whatever you're comfortable with and depending on the type of steps that you are working with, you are going to jump three to four steps at a time and basically sprint up the steps as fast as you can. This is a great finisher exercise because you're really elevating your heart rate. I recommend you incorporating this into your cardio days when it's really beautiful outside and you don't wanna be stuck inside on a treadmill. This is gonna hit every aspect of your cardiovascular endurance and your conditioning. The full breakdown to this video is found on the page below here on bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me, you can check out my body space. It's Ashley Horner. If you would like to visit my website, it's ashleyhorner.co. For more free workouts, videos, and articles, check out bodybuilding.com.